Okay, so this is my brand new Orbotics R2-D2, and he is quite cool, but for some strange reason, he has turned himself on at 3 o'clock in the morning. Don't know exactly why, but I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to show you how to make your R2-D2 walk, because unfortunately, the official Sphero app for R2-D2 does not allow you to drive around on two legs or walk on two legs. He will do that little waddle and he'll drive around on three legs, but let's go ahead and open up Sphero EDU here. Go through all the different robots and we are going to connect to R2-D2. Let's go ahead and hold my phone close there. Could you please connect Mr. D2? There we go. Okay, so R2-D2 is now connecting to the phone. He should pop out his little tripod leg for us. There you go. Nice and adorable. Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and aim him really quick. So my phone is facing that way, so I need R2 to also face that way. Yes, look at the big BB-8 there. Okay, go ahead and drive you on over here. And... So here is R2. Yes, and... If you want to make your R2-D2 walk, you're going to need to use Sphero EDU. And here's the R2-D2 walk program right here. And it's a pretty simple program. It is just basically... Da -da 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 -da, on start of the program, you go into a bipod stance, and then we've got an if-then if, if here with... If the stance is bipod, then turn on the lights, make some sounds, do a waddle, and then if you're waddling, turn the motors on for 30 seconds to that power level. So let's go ahead and press start and show you what it's like when R2-D2 walks. It's a quite capable little robot here, so he's going to go into his bipod stance there. And he's going to wait a few seconds and then, yeah, there you go. He is walking forward. And he will keep doing that for 30 seconds. I can bury the power to one motor or the other motor. I can have him walk a little faster if I have the uh, motors moving a little faster. But it doesn't quite look like that cute little waddle. So I wanted him to be able to walk around on two legs. And now he can. It took, oh, maybe about five minutes to program that in. Well, let's go ahead and click stop there. Great little application here. I would like to see more features added to R2. Let's go ahead and open up the standard program here. This is the app that is used to control all of the astromechs from Orbotics. I'm sorry, Sphero. They don't really like to be called Orbotics anymore. <sighs> okay. So yeah, this is the newer version of the app, the BB-8 app that was originally released by Sphero to control BB-8. I personally think is a much better application. BB-8 can actually patrol around a room and run into obstacles and he keeps his head on. The patrol feature with this app is a little bit rushed if you try and send BB-8 on, on patrol, he's just going to go at full speed until he runs into something and knocks his head off. And R2-D2 really can't seem to recognize impacts, so he just kind of goes up to a wall, slams into it, and keeps driving into it, then he'll turn around and turn back. So I'm really looking forward to some updates to this app. It does take a little while to start the app, and you know, I'm not a big fan of the fact that they've got beautiful pictures of the robots here that you are tempted to click, but if you click on one of these, it brings you up to a sales page to actually connect to the robot. You have to click the words connect, but of course it's going to go through and scan, see what robots are around. I have BB-8 in deep sleep mode, so he will not show up, but there is R2-D2, and you click connect. So far it's been about, all right, there we go, 60 seconds or so. And we are finally connected to R2. And then we can aim him by facing him. Let's see, face the phone like that. Make sure he faces forward. There you go. All right, so he is aimed. And let's press drive. So yeah, we can drive him around. Make all those R2-D2 sounds. You can 
move his dome around. Of course, lots of detail. Everybody, you know, has said that they did a really good job putting him together, and they did. He really does look like R2-D2. He's got all the lights, all the greeblies, you know. He's very nicely constructed, very waterproof. Um, I would like to see a two-legged walk cycle, because you can make him go up onto that little bipod stance, and he can waddle around and do a lot of classic R2 stuff. And they are quite confident in him. They even programmed a They are quite confident in his durability that he can slam himself onto the ground like that. He can't, unfortunately, get back up. But yeah, that's the Orbotics R2-D2. That's how to make him walk and waddle around. Now, if you want to check out something super awesome... Yeah, that's right, R2. The brand new Orbotics Mini Spiro. Oh my goodness. This goes above and beyond anything I have ever seen. Definitely... <laughs> Stay tuned for the video about this thing because this is one of the most amazing little things I've been waiting for this for years. It's about the size of a golf ball. Um, the sells for anywhere from 25 to 50 bucks and oh my god this is just, the no offense R2, but this is the most amazing robot I have ever played with here. Let's give him just a quick little test. I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of this R2-D2 app here. Sorry R2. And he's going to go ahead and shut himself down. Then we will open up the Sphero mini app here, and I'm just gonna really quickly give you a quick look at him. I really do like the Sphero mini app. They did a great job designing it. It's very minimalistic. Awesome little sound effects. Somebody actually did voice recording sound effects for all these little blips and bloops. It takes about 45 seconds for the program to load on my phone, but once the program is already loaded, you can uh, connect to the robot in about 7 to 10 seconds or so. So connecting to him is actually pretty quick once you've already started up the program. So I'm just going to click connect there. And we'll see the little Sphero logo. He will wake up. Our little Orbotics Mini Sphero is awake. Let's go ahead and aim him as well. We're just going to get that blue light facing the same way as the front of our phone. And okay, yeah, this, this is all about precision control right here. I mean, I can go fast. I can go slow. I can do so much more with this Sphero than... Okay, that's not an appropriate place for you, little Sphero. Let's put him back up there. So He is just so beyond adorable. Gonna have to adjust my camera settings here for you to really see. But he has these little rollers on the top that kind of look like eyes, and the USB charging port kind of looks like his little mouth. I mean, he's just really got a lot of personality and is definitely my favorite robot so far that I have ever played with. I have so much control over this thing. He is just so precise and so much fun to drive. And of course, he can go up to, you know, a meter a second. He can go quite fast and drive around for about an hour or so. And of course, you know, you've got all the different color options that you always have with Spheros. But yeah, I mean, I cannot begin to tell you how just amazingly precise this tiny little ball is. I mean, it just goes beyond anything else I have ever tested. And I mean, I have been testing RC vehicles for 10 years now. I have driven hundreds and hundreds of vehicles, hundreds of robots, and I mean, there is nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing out there that compares to Sphero Mini. It's just, just, I mean, it's just the, the, the distilled joy of controlling a radio-controlled robot. I mean, just everything you could want. Honestly, when it comes to Sphero Mini versus R2-D2, I have spent several hours driving my little Sphero Mini around. I really only probably played with the R2-D2 for, you know, about an hour or so. So, when it comes to actual playtime and joy, yeah, Sphero Mini is absolutely where it is at. Um, if you have the chance to go out and pick one up, you absolutely should. He is insanely affordable. I mean, scalpers are selling them on eBay for as low as like $17. But I mean, just the precision that you get is just beyond compare. I mean, you can just pick them up, throw them in your pocket, 
take them with you literally drive them anywhere really looking forward to like you know shells like golf ball shells and branded shells and things like that but yeah so that's one or two of the new orbotics products that are on the market this holiday season as always we appreciate you guys tuning in don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more